Here we're asked to find five ordered pair solutions. Let's begin by solving for y. Here we can isolate the variable term negative 2y if we subtract 10x on both sides. That'll leave us with negative 2y equals negative 10x plus 2. To isolate the variable y, we can divide both sides by its coefficient, in this case, negative 2. We have y equals negative 10x plus 2 over 2. Negative 2 is a common denominator, so I'm going to divide both of the terms here by negative 2. And that'll leave us with 5x minus 1. Now that we've solved for y, we'll use this to determine five ordered pair solutions. In this form, we can see y depends on x. x is the independent variable. So we'll choose any values for x, substitute them in, and find the corresponding values for y. Here I'll choose negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Usually you'd want to choose some negative values for x, 0, and some positive values. Now to find the corresponding y value, we use the formula or the equation we just came up with, 5x minus 1. When x is negative 2, substituting that in, we have 5 times negative 2 minus 1, or negative 10 minus 1 is negative 11. Continuing, 5 times negative 1 minus 1 is negative 5 minus 1, or negative 6. Substituting 0 in, 0 times 5 minus 1. 0 times 5 is just 0, leaving us with negative 1. 5 minus 1 is 4. And finally, substituting in 2, we have 10 minus 1, which is 9. So here's five ordered pair solutions to the original equation. Let's write them in set notation. Now certainly, since there's infinitely many ordered pair solutions, the answers here may vary. Your answers will depend on which x values you choose. 